children, I am here again, your teacher, Shasha. Okay, so how are you today? Great. Mm, do you still remember these symbols? Okay, so let's try if you really remember this symbol. What do we call this symbol? Okay, it is less than. How about this symbol? Mm, nice, it is greater than. So how about this symbol? Very good, it is equal. So if I will compare 5 and 9, what symbol will I use? Very good, it is less than. So how about if I will compare 10 and 8? What symbol will I use if I will compare 10 and 8? Okay, it is greater than. So how about um, 5 and 5? What symbol will I use if I will compare 5 and 5? Okay, very good. It is equal because they have the same number. Okay, so today our topic is about comparing and ordering fractions. So before we will start our discussion, I have an activity for you. I have a picture here and if you think that the first picture is greater than or bigger than the second picture, then you have to clap your hand twice like this. And if you think that the first picture is smaller than or less than than the second picture, you will clap your hand once like this. Is it clear? Very good. So, the first picture. Very good. So, the second picture. Oh, great. The third picture. Wow. And the fourth picture. Amazing! You really did a great job! So now, we will use our comparing skills in comparing fractions. I have fractions here and what you do is to compare these fractions. You will arrange this from greatest to less. I will give you 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, Nine, ten. Uh, okay, so since we already have the same denominator, we will compare the numerator only. Okay, so if we will compare five and four, what symbol will we use? Very good, it is greater than. So how about we will compare... 4 and 3. What symbol will we use? Very good. It is still greater than. So how about 3 and 2? What symbol will we use? Okay, it is greater than. Okay, so another example. Arrange this from smallest to greatest. I will give you 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, okay, so same with example number 1. We already have the same denominator, so let's compare the numerator. Okay, so if we will compare 1 and 2, what symbol will we use? 1 and 2. Very good, it is less than. Another 
If we will compare 2 and 3, what symbol will we use? Very good! It is less than. Another. If we will compare 3 and 4, what symbol will we use? Very good! It is still less than. Okay, so let's proceed to example number 3. We can see that this fraction is different from the first and second examples because this fraction has the same numerator and different numbers in the denominator. So how are we going to compare these fractions? Okay, so in the first examples, in the first and second examples rather, if we have the same numerator, then it is now fixed. Let's just compare the denominator 6 and 7. We can see that 6 is less than 7. So just 5, 6 is less than 7? No, it is wrong. Why? Because we can only say that it is less than when these two different number is in the numerator and that two same number is in the denominator. Okay, so we have 5, 6 is greater than 5, 7. Let's try to check. 5 divided by 6 is equal to... And 5 divided by 7 is equal to... Very good. So can you see the difference? Okay, so another example. Try this one. 2, 7, and 2, 3. I will give you 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, okay, so very good. The answer is less than. 2, 7 is less than 2, 3. So let's proceed to example number 4. Try this one. How are we going to compare these fractions with different denominator and numerator? To compare this one, we will use cross multiplication. First, we will go in to multiply 3 and 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Very good. So second is we will multiply 2 by 4. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Very good. Okay, so now we have 9 and 8. So, what symbol will we use if we have 9 and 8? Very good. It is greater than. Try to check this one. 3 divided by 4 is equal to very good, 0 0.75. The next, 2 divided by 3 is equal to? Very good, 0 0.66. So let's try to compare this decimal. Okay, so the answer is greater than. So it is correct that the answer is 3 fourth is greater than 2 3. Okay, so let's try another example. Use cross multiplication to get the answer. We have 4, 9, and 5, 7. Okay, so what is the first thing we do? Very good. So to multiply 4 and 7. What is 4 times 7? Very good, 28. How about 5 times 9? Very good, it is 45. So we have now 28 and 45. What symbol will we use between 28 and 45? Very good, it is less than. Very good class. So since you already know how to compare and ordering fractions, I will give you an assignment to be passed tomorrow. Understand? Very good. So let's give ourselves a fireworks clap.
Thank you for listening class. Again, this is your teacher Shasha and have a nice day. Goodbye!